The GAN 356M is definitely a great cube and is actually a contender for my main, which is surprising since this cube isn't even marketed as a flagship. Anyway, let's get into the unboxing experience. The packaging is very standard for GAN and it kind of looks like Apple packaging. Now inside the box, uh, you have the cube itself and a box of accessories. Inside the box, you are given a nice set of GES nuts and it also comes with a nice blue bag which could be good for traveling. It also comes with a nice clear plastic box which, I don't know, could be good if you are putting your cube in a backpack and keeping it safe. Now before turning the cube, the GAN felt significantly lighter than my main which was the Waylon WRM, so that's definitely a positive for the cube. Now like other cubes that GAN has been releasing, this does come with frosted plastic which in my opinion I really like. It gives the cube an aesthetically pleasing look, though I don't think the grip is that good and we will talk about that more in a bit. Now my thoughts when doing first turns were, well, pretty good. If I were to describe the feel, it has more of a papery smooth feel rather than a buttery smooth feel, and I thought the pieces glided together very well. Another thing I really like about this cube is its stability, which is probably the main reason why I like GAN cubes in the first place. Now after unboxing the cube, I did a few solves and overall they were pretty decent. However, my times were a bit slower, though that is very normal when I get a new cube. One thing that held me back was the frosted plastic. Very often, the cube can slip from my hands, especially when lube is on the surface, which was the case for this cube. As you can see, the cube does come heavily lubed by the factory. Also, just a side note, after some time with the cube, the frosted feeling will go away, and some people even say it's better than normal glossy plastic found in other cubes. The cube comes with the blue nuts, which is pretty good, though it is a bit flimsy and I wanted something more stable. I took some time to try out the other GES nuts. The first one I tried was the purple nuts, which is the loosest of them. It felt pretty similar to the blue nuts, though it was more flimsy and I still wanted something more stable. Then I tried the green nuts, which is the second to tightest setting. It felt much more stable than the purple and blue nuts, and I preferred it much more. Finally, I tried the yellow nuts, which is the tightest setting. The yellow nuts and green nuts are my favorite, though I am sticking with the yellow nuts since I don't want to change back to the green. The price of this cube is definitely something we should talk about. First of all, it comes in two variants, the light and the standard version. The light version comes in at $27, and the standard version used in this video comes in at $33. Although it's not cheap, it does cost much less than GAN's flagship cubes, the GAN X and the XS, which is probably the cube's main selling point. One thing I should point out is that the GAN 356M is basically the same as the GAN X. The only thing different is that the GAN 356M doesn't have the interchangeable magnet system, although I don't think that really matters because the magnet strength is pretty good anyways. Another thing is that this cube does cut 45 degrees, though it is much harder compared to other cubes like the Wayland WRM. Another thing I like about this cube is its sound. Here's a comparison between other cubes. Now with all that aside, the question is, is this cube my main? And the answer to that question is, well, kinda. Before I got this cube, the Waylong WRM was my main, and when I got the 356M, I was debating whether it should be my main. But something weird happened. I picked up my Vulcan randomly, which was my old, old main before the Waylong WRM, and it started to feel amazing. I don't know why, but it just did. So I'm pretty much in an odd situation, debating between the GAN 356M, the Waylong WRM, and the Vulk 3M. So, there you go. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you liked this. If you did, please like and subscribe. And be sure to follow my Instagram at CatTheCuber. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Fight. Fight.